Hi, welcome back. In this lecture, we will take a look into RabbitMQ core concepts. Well, in order to understand RabbitMQ throughout this course, you should know the important RabbitMQ core concepts. Alright, in this lecture, I am going to cover important RabbitMQ core concepts. First, we will take a look into producer. Well, producer is basically an application that sends a messages. It does not send a messages directly to the consumer. It sends a message only to the RabbitMQ broker. Well, we'll understand what is the exchange and qubit later. Just try to understand what is the producer in this case. Producer is basically application that sends a messages. And producer, it does not send a message directly to the consumer. It will send a message only to the RabbitMQ broker. And then consumer will read that message from the RabbitMQ broker. Next. What is consumer? Well, consumer is an application that reads a messages from the RabbitMQ broker. Well, whenever producer sends a message to the RabbitMQ broker, then consumer will basically read that messages from the RabbitMQ broker. Well, there can be a multiple consumers that can you know subscribe to the RabbitMQ broker. For example, if you can see here, consumer one, consumer two, consumer three. These are the three consumers have subscribed to the RabbitMQ broker and whenever a producer will send a message to the RabbitMQ broker then all these consumers will read that message from the RabbitMQ broker all right i hope you understood what is consumer next what is queue well queue is basically a buffer or a storage in a RabbitMQ broker to store the messages well whenever a producer sends a message to the RabbitMQ broker that message will be first stored in a queue and then the consumer will read that message from the queue which is there in a RabbitMQ broker and we can create any number of queues in a RabbitMQ broker. Alright, just remember queue is nothing but a storage in a RabbitMQ broker to store the messages. Alright, it's pretty simple. Next, what is a message? A message is nothing but an information that is sent from producer to the consumer through a RabbitMQ. Well, message can be any type like message can be a string format, message can be a JSON, message can be a byte array, message can be a plain text, message can be HTML. All right. So just remember message is nothing but information that is sent from the producer to the consumer through RabbitMQ broker. All right. Great. Next, what is exchange? Well, exchange, it acts as an intermediary between producer and queue. Instead of sending a message directly to the queue, a producer can send those messages directly to the exchange first and then exchange will basically route those messages to the respective queues. Alright, just remember exchange it acts as an intermediary between producer and queue. And whenever producer sends a message to the exchange, then exchange will basically use some setup rules to route those messages to the respective queue. Okay, we'll understand more about you know exchange and how it will route the message to the respective queues in a upcoming lectures next what is routing key well routing key is a key that exchange basically uses to route a message to the respective queues well routing is like address for the message well consider in a complex applications we have to use a multiple queues in a RabbitMQ broker all right for example consider this diagram over here we have two q q1 and q2 okay and whenever producer sends a message to the exchange then exchange basically don't know in which queue the message should be route right in that case exchange should use a routing key to route that message to the particular queue okay so producer will basically you know send a message along with the routing key so that exchange will basically use that routing key to route that message to the respective queues so just remember routing key is nothing but a key that exchange uses to route the messages to the respective queues all right so there should be binding binding between exchange and queue then only the exchange can able to route the messages to the respective queues right so that binding is done by routing key okay great next what is binding a binding is a link between queue and an exchange well, exchange basically use a routing key to route a message to the respective queues, 
right and this is nothing but a binding there should be a binding between exchange and queue then only the exchange can able to you know route a message to the respective queues all right so this comes into picture whenever we have multiple queues in a application all right just remember binding is nothing but a link between queue and exchange and this binding is done by using a routing key okay we'll understand more about these rabbit mq core concepts in upcoming lectures as well all right so these are the important rabbit mq core concepts that we frequently use throughout this course well we will understand more about these rabbit mq core concepts whenever we implement a rabbit mq in a spring boot applications all right great i will see you in the next lecture